days of long ago. From uncharted regions of the universe comes a legend. The legend... It's about Voltron. time we get a Voltron video game based on Voltron, the 1980s cartoon. This is Voltron, Defender of the Universe, a downloadable game for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. This is a bit of an arcade-style twin-stick shooter mixed with a spaceship shooter mixed with gameplay that reminds me of the Power Rangers video game on Sega CD. But most of the time you'll be running around as one of the five lions shooting enemies in a twin-stick shooter-style game like this. Each of the lions has their special abilities, of course. And the game plays out like one of the old cartoons. Fans of the series should know how this goes. They try to fight the enemy as the lions, only to find out that they need to form Voltron to really defeat them. And it always takes them exactly a half hour to do it. Form Blazing Sword! These quick time battles are actually kind of fun. And the game is complemented with scenes from Voltron, of course. Voltron will reach planet Yadel first. I provided a glamorous touch by darkening the sun. Here's a look at one of the scenes where the lion flies around in space, like a vertical scrolling spaceship shooter blasting enemies, there's end boss battles, and the game can get extremely tricky at times when the enemies fill the screen with bullets and your lion can only take so much damage. I like the approach that the developers took with this game, considering a lot of Voltron's fans are probably more into arcade-style gameplay rather than first-person shooter gameplay. You're scored for everything in Voltron, rescuing civilians, blowing up enemies. You're scored per level, and it adds them all up at the end when you defeat the Voltron video game, unlocking a new difficulty level, giving you four difficulties. Voltron also has multiplayer, and it looks like downloadable content is coming. Hopefully, Voltron Defender of the Near Universe. All those little cars that form Voltron. Not nearly as cool as the Lions, but true Voltron fans will remember Voltron Defender of the Near Universe, right? For an affordable, downloadable title, I found the Voltron video game quite fun. And of course, I'm a huge fan of Voltron, so that kind of helps. They could have easily made a mess out of this game had they tried to be more ambitious or trendy and failed. In a way, I would say they played it safe with Voltron, but it works for this game. It's as it is on screen. You'll always be doing more or less the same thing in Voltron, but deep down in your heart, you know that you're piloting the lion just like you've always wanted to. And sadly, no, the princess will not fit in the cockpit with you. The Voltron lions are one-seaters only, fellas. And besides, unless you're sporting an 80s style mullet, you have no chance anyway. It's wonderful! The lions have a standard shot that you control with the twin stick style shooter controls. You can also leap into the air and bring down aerial targets or charge enemies. If your lion is damaged, you have a little survivor mode where you run around clearly defenseless without your lion and just try not to get killed. Voltron Defender of the Universe is a fun pick up and play downloadable game for your PS3 or 360. I'd like to see them put out a few more of these. How about some other 80s cartoons that haven't gotten their fair share of video game love? Like the Thundercats, Mask, Jace and the Wheeled Warriors, Gem and the Holograms, and of course, the Adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. Let's go. Did anybody else just get chills listening to that music? They need to release the soundtrack from this one. 